Judin's law. We have to state Judin's law. This is a capillary tube. R is the radius of capillary tube and uh, we can consider the liquid meniscus of liquid in a capillary tube. This is uh, the liquid meniscus and this liquid meniscus or free surface of liquid in capillary tube is a part of a sphere or a circle. AB is the free surface or liquid meniscus of liquid column in a capillary tube and we can draw the radius of curvature of the liquid meniscus ACB. OC is the radius of curvature of the liquid meniscus here or a OA which is equal to capital R is also the radius of curvature of the liquid meniscus ACB. We can draw a normal from the point A on the radius OC. This normal is also the radius of the capillary tube. Surface tension of liquid uh, inside the capillary tube that is S acts along this uh, tangent surface tension always acts tangentially on the liquid meniscus or free surface of liquid in a capillary tube. AT is the tangent. We can denote the tangent. AT is the tangent along which surface tension is of the liquid in the capillary tube acts at an angle theta. Surface tension is acts at an angle theta with the wall of the capillary tube and also the angle. Uh, this angle is also theta angle subtended by capital R with uh, small r or angle subtended by radius of curvature of liquid meniscus with the radius of capillary tube is theta and we can, we have denoted liquid meniscus ACB is the liquid meniscus and capillary tube is immersed in a liquid vessel and liquid rises up to this height. Uh, we can denote the height of liquid column also in the capillary tube. We are denoting the liquid uh, in the capillary tube and in the vessel. Lowest point of uh, liquid column in capillary tube is K and we can denote uh, the height of liquid column in capillary tube. So H is the height uh, that means uh, up to the point C, height of the point C from the lowest point of the liquid column in capillary tube the height of liquid column the height of liquid column in a capillary tube of radius small r is given by h equal to s cos theta divided by rho rg h equal to s cos theta divided by rho rg where s is the surface tension of liquid in the capillary tube theta uh, the surface tension S is the surface tension of liquid which acts at an angle theta that is also angle of contact tangentially with the wall of uh, the capillary tube. S is the surface tension of liquid which acts at an angle theta uh, tangentially to for the triangle ONA for the triangle ONA cos theta is equal is by hypotenuse that is small r divided by capital R or capital small r equal capital R cos theta. So we get the expression of radius of capillary tube small r equal capital R cos theta where theta is the angle of contact and capital R is the radius of curvature small r equal capital R cos theta which is the radius of capillary, capillary tube also capital Capital R is the radius of curvature, radius of curvature of the liquid meniscus ACB or free surface of liquid ACB in the capillary tube. R is the radius of curvature of liquid meniscus ACB. Therefore, H equal to S cos theta divided by rho RG uh, from the earlier equation. H is equal to 2S cos theta divided by R rho G equal 2s cos theta in the new numerator divided by capital R cos theta rho g putting the expression of small r from the earlier equation. So therefore h equal 2s divided by capital R rho g h equal 2s divided by capital R rho g therefore h dot r equal 2s divided by rho g. So we can say that for a liquid surface tension is density of the liquid rho r constant. 
therefore 2s by rho g is constant for a liquid therefore h dot capital r equal constant h dot capital r is equal constant h is the height of liquid column in capillary tube capital r is the radius of curvature uh, uh, of liquid meniscus hence we can say that h dot r equal constant this is jurin's law jurin's law that means hence uh, jurin's law is h dot r equal constant hence uh, the product of hence the product of height of liquid column height of liquid column in a capillary tube height of liquid column in a capillary tube and the radius of curvature of liquid meniscus or free surface of liquid in the capillary tube h is the height of liquid column in the capillary tube and uh, radius of liquid meniscus radius of liquid meniscus in the capillary tube is constant is a constant or is constant that means the product of height of liquid column in a capillary tube and radius of curvature of the liquid meniscus in a in the capillary tube is constant so here h is the height of liquid column and r is the radius of curvature of free surface of liquid and product of h and r is constant